Uh, you have before you a selection of Britain's rarest forestry tree, the truly native black poplar, uh, Populus nigra, subspecies Betulifolia, which just means birch-leafed variety. Now these were common in the British landscape up to about 150 years ago when they were used for uh, planking because the wood is resistant to, to burning. It was used uh, as floorboards in houses and it was also used for making cartwheels. Now, obviously we don't have too many carts anymore so they fell out of, uh, uh, of favour and it, it's a tree of wetlands and wet meadows and would have been very very common throughout the river catchments throughout uh, the UK. Uh, subsequently it's been replaced with, with hybrids from abroad and we really need to replace the truly native ones back into the landscape. So Trees for Dorset, the charity, are actively engaged on first hunting down uh, veteran black poplars in the landscape and we've uh, a team of us have already managed to find about 20 or 30 of them but we really need to find a lot more because we, most of those have been in the Star Valley. We feel there should be more up the Brit Valley and Bridport and up the Froome, upper reaches of the Froome and the Piddle as well. Um, once we've found them, we need to actually check that they are truly uh, native British poplars and the only way to do that is by genetic testing. So we f locate the trees, we then take samples from the trees and get them tested genetically and then they're tested at a compared to a list of known clones uh, which are held on the National Forestry Data Bank. Uh, so far we've located about eight different clones in Dorset, which isn't bad for a county our size, um, but there are others. Chester Zoo hold the national collection up in uh, um, Cheshire, uh, Shropshire also have quite a few, Somerset have got quite a few, and Sussex have had a very successful reintroduction uh, uh, in over the last 20 to 30 years up there, which is held at uh, um, Kew's Sister Garden, Wakehurst Place. Um, now, having located these, we are going to be planting these out on our nurseries here in Dorset um, and using these as mother plants to take cuttings from. So once we know which clone they are, so each one of these is labelled, we've got clone 42, clone 23, uh, that one is yet to be tested, but we think it's clone 175. And we also have here, um, some clone EMR5. Now the EMR ones were natural cr uh, cross crosses made uh, between known uh, native ones of, uh, about 30, 40 years ago um, and this is one of the newer ones so it has, hasn't actually established a clone number as yet but we do know that it's British native for sure. Um, and here we are, we've got one, two, the, the good, good news is they do propagate from cuttings quite well so we've got about 12 to 14 in, in that pot there and they'll be ready for plotting up individually uh, quite shortly. So please uh, keep in touch if you're interested in the Black Poplar project so you can support us by coming along to one of our nurseries or learning to how to identify poplars um, but please email me uh, Simon Goldsack and the email address is info at trees for Dorset that's uh, F-O-R treesfordorset.co.uk and become a saviour of the native black poplar.